In this tutorial, we will see how to create a new project and how to save them. By default, in TV Paint, you always have a project already available and you can draw inside immediately without doing anything else. To create a project, you have to click on File, New Project. You can also use the shortcut Shift N or you can click on this icon. In the new project panel, you have the choice between Project Tab and Project with Camera. Project with Camera will be introduced in a further tutorial, so at the moment let's focus on Project Tab. You can first of all define the size using size already available in TV Paint. But you can also create your own um, project size. I mean, you can do even something very, very wide and very high. Few words about TV Paint's project size. So, TV Paint Animation 11 Professional Edition 64 bit version. So, it means it can use a lot of memory power. That's important because TV Paint mainly depends on the memory capacity and on the CPU. So, if you are using the 64 bit version, you can use very, very heavy files. Anyway, keep in mind that. Having very big files, like something like uh, 10,000 uh, pixels wide and 10,000 pixels of height, it can be very hard to manage when you will do an animation. So you can eventually create very, very big files for, for illustration. But I don't advise you to do so for animation. For animation, a 4K project is already quite enough. It's already very big to manage. Um, just under, we have the frame rate. So the frame rate is uh, how many images per second will be necessary to play a second. Then we have the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is the way the pixel uh, will look like. So by default, it's better to use a squared ratio. So it means one. Because if you're using something peculiar, like for example, NTC, uh, like this, where the aspect ratio is not squared, but it's a rectangular ratio, it's really hard to manage them for the final exports. I mean, it's easier to start with a squared ratio equal to one and then turn it later. For example, if you have a project and you want to turn in for uh, cinema, for theaters or for TV or for anything else, it's better to start with a square ratio and at the, exp the final export choose a different ratio rather than already start with a rectangular ratio and then regret it because it's really hard to change a rectangular ratio to another rectangular ratio. That's the same with a field. It's better to start with a progressive field rather than using lower first and upper first. So we can create our new project. And here we are. To save a project, it's quite simple. You can use the little icon just here, or you can click on Save Project or Save Project as if you never saved the project yet. The shortcut used for saving the project is Shift S, but you can also use Command S or Control S. By the way, in TV Paint 11, we have now some very interesting features for the auto saving, and that's very important to use, especially when you are working on a very important project. To enable the auto save options, we have to go in Edit menu, Preferences, open the preferences using Shift D, Save tab. And then you have different choices. So we have the save alarm. So by default, it's not activated. If you click on the menu, you have different options. So we have inactivated, we have warn me and auto save. Warn me will do a pop up every 60 minutes and will tell you, oh, you haven't saved your project for 60 minutes, maybe you should save. And you have the choice to save or abort the choice. And then you have the autosave option. The autosave uh, works more or less the same, except you don't have any pop-up telling you uh, you should save. It saves this for you. 
So here you can define the alarm value. I mean, if it will warn you or save every 60 minutes or every 10 minutes or 15 minutes, as you like, you can change the value just by changing just here or using the double arrows just here. Just keep in mind, by the way, that the, whatever if you've chosen the warn me or the auto save, this option won't stop you when you are in the drawing process. I mean, if, for example, you are animating and that's very intensive, uh, the pop-up won't appear and stops you when you are in the creation process. You have to drop the stylus during at least five seconds to get the warn me pop-up or the autosave. And that's very pleasant because when you are animating, you don't want to be stopped in your work. So if you're using warn me or autosave, automatically the multi-backup option will be enabled. So the multi-backup option is an option that creates auto-backup files. For example, by default, it's, the value is two. It means if I save my project, I will uh, create my TV Paint project and it will manage a backup file. I save a second time, I have a second backup file. I save a third time and the first backup file will be overwritten. It looks like this, like a loop. So each time you save, you overwrite the oldest backup file. You can go until 99 backup files. Some people do this. You can also define, and that's very important, a directory for the multi-backup because it can be tricky to save on the same place that your original file. It's better to save it on another hard drive or another place on the server, just in case of crashes or lags or anything. That's always better to save on a different place, so you can set it by clicking on this button. And then regarding the TVPP compression, it's just a way to compress a TV pen files, so they are lighter than, for example, the files made in TV Paint 9. Actually, you can have more content for a lighter file, but don't worry, it doesn't change anything about the quality of your project. A last way to share or save your um, project is to use the Share Manager just here. So the Share Manager is a very, very interesting option. First of all, I would advise you to change your identifier and if you are connected over a network, a local network, with other people using TV Paint, you can see them connected as neighbors, just here. So of course here I'm, I'm alone, so <laughs> there is no neighbor actually. But if you're connected over a network and you see the people connected, you can click on them and then you can eventually send them your project or even a clip or a custom panel. Uh, those elements will be explained in further tutorials. And so you can define which project you will send and then you can just click on the send button to send the project to someone else. And of course this person will receive a little notification just here and so he knows or she knows they receive something. And they will receive a copy of your file, not the original one. That's really clever. <laughs>